So I'm going to use oil pastels to start coloring my picture. And I'm going to start from the face. Just kind of starting with the light strokes until I make sure that I know how dark I want the color to be on the picture. And I just add up gradually more and more color. So I need to mix the colors in order to create a dark brown that shows up on the picture, on the original picture. And I'm gonna just do some additional strokes with, with black on top of the brown, softly, you know, I'm just kind of adding up the stalks gentle and I have to express a little bit of shadow here of the hair on the front and also don't forget the ear has a hollow part here right in the middle so I need to add a little bit more black in it I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ear as well here I'm gonna continue coloring that layer of brown first and express the shadow on the jaw, on the bottom jaw of the horse. And I'm adding gently and mixing up the colors gently with softer strokes. Um, There's a white patch on the nose of the horse, so I have to be gentle not to color that part because then it's gonna be difficult to be able to create that white spot. And so I'm gonna go gently around the eye to make sure that I don't I don't change the shape of the eye. I have to be gentle when I go around it. And I'm going to Add up a little bit more shadow on one side of the face with intention to create a three-dimensional look of the shape here. And I'm going to continue here down to the mouth. here and then I'm gonna add up a little bit of gray here around the nose and put a few accents on the bottom of the jaw Gently work on the eye here with the black to create the shape here. It's a little bit hard to work with the oil pastels because they don't have a very sharp tip, but I'm doing as much as I can. And after when I feel that I'm done with the face. I did a pretty good shading here. I'm gonna start moving towards the neck. And I have some 
of the mane here on the horse's neck. Yeah. So make sure to express the volume of the mane. I continue with the rest of the body. There we are. Add up a little bit more shadow here on the front here. And I can outline. It shows up a little bit from the eye on the other side. And I'm gonna outline the nose with black. So here's the mouth. And I'm moving along the neck and I'm mixing up the colors to create a chestnut brown the dark chestnut brown so I'm gonna mix brown and black in order to be able to create this color and I'm gonna still following on the shadowy part of the body of the horse white patch here there we are I'm gonna put a little bit of brown on the mane as well brown this part of the body where there is a white patch I'm just putting the main brown color and then after that I'm gonna start shading with black and I'm going to outline a little bit the brown patch before I color it just so it's easy for me. You can change that shape, it's not necessary to be exactly the same. There we are. Just so I know I don't color with brown there. Black will be necessary here to express the shadow on the on the main. basic shape of the body. We'll continue coloring with brown just to put the main color and then I'm going to work on top with black to create the different shapes with different muscles. So I'm gonna switch with black and I'll start Shading. So considering that the source of light comes from this side, this part of the horse is supposed to be covered with shadow and all the lighter part of the leg and then the body more will be on this side where the source of light comes. So I'm going to start shading now on top of the brown to create that darker shade. Um, I have to emphasize the, the joint on the front leg. I'll continue to the hoof. I will make sure that on one side of the hoof I have shadow this way it looks more three-dimensional and then I'm gonna focus on emphasizing more muscles here on the front then I'll put more shadow on the leg that's on the other side because that leg is covered more with darker brown and black 
So I'm gonna mix the brown and black again in order to create a shadow on the back leg. There we are. Both of the legs are down here. Gonna add a little bit more shadow here. is just to increase the, the darkness of this brown shade and to get close to the real color. And a little bit more shadow here on the, on the neck on the chest to create stronger muscles. Outlining the tummy. So I'm gonna add up another patch of white color here. It looks like a star. See how I'm mixing up the colors, brown and black, and I'm blending the colors. another patch I'm going to create here on the leg. There is a white patch on the leg as well, so I'm gonna make sure that I leave some white spot here. And I noticed that I forgot to erase the pencil here, so I'm just gonna fix my picture by erasing this pencil. And there's some pencil showing on the body as well, so I'll make sure I clean up this. continue coloring. As I mentioned the leg that's on the other side will be covered in shadow. So I'm going to put more shadow here on this leg. shadow on the on the hip on the front hip here trying to express a bit more oval look more volume on the tummy here so I'm gonna add up a little bit of gray shade to express the the oval 
shape of the body. And I might need to add up a little bit more black here as well on the front leg. This is a big mass on the front that needs to be expressed. And mixing up the colors again for the back leg here, black and brown, to create a darker look of the leg that's on the far away side. And this is the other leg here. So I'm gonna create the shadow. And the hoof. Now what's left is the, the tail. more black because since that the, the color of the tail is more darker than the rest of the body. I'm going to add up a little bit of shadow here on the top of the hip. back with the tail. The tail is beautiful, it's long. So I'll try to create some volume by adding up a little bit of brown. And blend it with the black color. And the horse is pretty much done, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just color the ground. I'm going to just start working on the grass here. It's always nice to mix the colors to create multicolor on the background of your picture. And that's what I'm doing now. Just gonna play with the different shades of green, yellow until I create a nice bright color for the background. I'm going to blend the colors again. I'm going to use some yellow here in the background. I'm going to be gentle when I go around the shape of the horse because the brown picks up and affects the other color that's on the background. So I'll be gentle with that when I go around the horse. And I noticed something I need to correct here on the tail a little bit more. And put a little bit more shadow here on the tail. And we are to express the, the light and shadow. Yeah. And I'll continue with the light shade of green on the background. See how I'm kind of creating more multiple shades, which makes the picture brighter and more interesting. Yeah, mixing colors is always fun. So more colors you mix, better it looks. I'll put some brown because I want to outline the, the shadow of the horse. So to 
some brown here. And I'll mix it with green. Just to cast shadow. Continue mixing up the colors for the background. I'm going to choose my colors for the sky. I'm going to use soft strokes of blue. Shape the horse. Okay. I'm using the side of the pastel when I'm coloring big areas so it's easier for me to, to navigate and it gets faster. So using the side part of the pastel is a bit easier to cover big areas. a little bit of yellow to blend it here. We'll go gentle around the tail. Just gonna blend it with yellow. And be gentle when I go around the face of the horse so I don't go into the drawing. make sure that I cover the whole space because as more as you finish coloring the whole picture it looks more finished and it looks better it's a better look I'm just seeing a little bit of area that I want to fix here on the leg to create more contrast on the leg here. Yeah. Um, I'll emphasize the, the shadow. Um, I think that my picture is almost done. Uh, I'm just gonna finalize a little bit here, adding a little bit more accent on the face. Pretty much done. Maybe I'll put a little bit more accent on the neck here. Sign up your pictures in the corner and it is done. Maybe I can put the ear to remember when did I draw the picture. So thank you very much for following my art lesson today and I hope it's helpful for you to learn how to draw horses and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day and success to everyone. Bye now.